we are talking about CSI NET exam guide and uh, this is about the exam hall management and this is where things get really ugly uh, even if you prepared very well you practiced uh, you, you do all these things and suddenly in the exam you get nervous suddenly in exam you get certain some kind of problems and everything just fall apart remember this whatever preparation you've taken for let's say last five months seven months or for one or two years definitely comes down to this one day not only one day it's about three hours every practice everything that you're taking that thing is come down to this three hour of exam and you should not ruin it and you should not let your tension ruin it you should not let your other thoughts ruin it you should not let your negative feelings ruin it whatever thing you prepared for this three hours only so get everything that you have devote everything that you have in that three hours because that is the actual time it doesn't matter how you score during your exams doesn't matter how you score during your mock tests this is the time if you score here well everything is going to be fine right so you need to manage the dangerous situations that are going to arise during the CSI net exam in the exam hall and what are the problems that are going to arise there there are multiple problems multiple chances if you haven't practiced to solve MCQ questions based on time you are in a huge mess because you'll see you certainly won't be able to answer the questions in that limited amount of time because there are a lot of questions so obviously it's a good idea to practice before the exam to answer the questions uh, turning on the clock once you have that the second thing is that in, during the exam hall start of the exam there are certain things that you need to do you need to fill up the exam form in digitalized conditions sometimes we will make mistakes on that let's say you made a mistake and you thought that you're uh, even if you do a good uh, paper even if you write a good paper they are going to cancel your paper but there are also options they have another form you need to fill up that form telling them that i made a mistake you need to check my uh, you need to check my form you need to check my answer sheet uh, considering that matter right so even if you make a mistake because you're not not going to get another sheet of omr uh, before after that because you have a specific number and you have a specific number of seat so do not do th these things don't be tensed actually do not make any mistake in that way much shit informing the roll number subject code center code and all these things put them just clearing your mind put them so it's a better idea when you're practicing before the exam in your room or in mock tests you should have the same type of OMR to prepare yourself based on that once you prepare yourself you know what to write and how to write it won't create any problem and uh, that's how it is second thing is that do not use a pencil to fill up that OMR sheet I've seen many many of the people do those things they take a pencil first fill up that OMR sheet with a pencil then erase it in the pen what it actually will do is that it can do two things first thing is that pencil has graphite in it and the graphite thing is very much difficult to erase so what it does you just take pencil and fill it first you think that is going to answer and finally once you confirm everything then you erase that and fill it with pen it will consume a lot of time lot of time will be consumed for that at least five to ten minutes for that an exam that critical you will, will not afford that thing be confident and answer that question directly fill that form be confident because that's what you've done previously you prepared for that just be confident fill that as long as you are scanning through it and just check it very clearly if this is the question number three you first fill then let's say you, you, you are unable to answer five questions after that and you are able to answer the question number 10 again right so you need to find question number 10 in the OMS sheet and then you need to fill sometimes what people does actually they fill the next one and once you fill it this will count as your answer you can't change it so if the answer is wrong you have a negative mark for that so don't do that so all these things arise for the tension so do not tension win this situation you have prepared for this for past five five or six months you don't need to be tense about it anymore what will happen the the least thing that will happen you're not going to qualify 
and you again have a chance six months later for that. So don't let it ruin your life. Don't let it ruin your exam at that time. Now the second thing, during that time, selection of question is important. Sometimes what we do actually, we select wrong questions and we guess too much, we end up with negative marking too much and we probably won't qualify. So the answer for that is that you need to select perfect questions. You need to select those questions you are much more confident to answer. Okay. So what do you do actually? People always think that from our childhood that we start answering the questions in our exams from the beginning and till the end. But these are the exams where this is not going to happen. This is not, this is not the strategy you should follow. You need to scan all the questions, you need to see all the questions and to find out which questions are better to answer for you. Because there are certain sections of the question you answer, you can answer better. There are certain questions you can answer less better. So you need to find those questions. These are the questions I am going to answer confirmedly. Select those questions first. Do not start answering the question from the front to the last in that manner. Because what I found in the group C portion of CSM net questions, the beginning questions are difficult because those questions from molecular biology, recombinant DNA technology, microbiology, even if you are a molecular biology graduate, even if you are biotechnology MSc, still it becomes difficult for you to answer those questions because those are extremely difficult certain times. And in the later pages, the question from developmental biology, the question from evolutionary biology, question from environmental biology are much less complex. They are easy. If you analyze a graph, you will get a full marks. So try to answer. Just scan through all the pages. It doesn't matter which question you answer. Only thing matters, you answer it correctly. That's it. So just scan for it. Right? Now let's see you start answering the question from the beginning. You find first four pages and you only answer two questions. This might happen. In the first four pages, you are only able to answer two questions confirmed. And you thought that confirm I am going to lose, confirm I am not going to qualify. Do not leave this at that point. Do not take this negative feeling, take over your head. Believe me, I was there in the room. I knew what situation can do. Even if you thought that exam gone very bad, you may be qualified. You never know. You think that you guess too much, you may not be qualified, but actually when the answer came, it finds that you get a jarret. And it does happen many times. For that reason, even if you are unable to answer most of the questions in the first two or three or pages, don't that complete things. Do not judge yourself until and unless you completely cover all that three hour duration. Because you need to play for three hours. If that's a match, if that's a cricket match, you need to play for three hours completely. Do not think about that I only scored two runs in, in first one hour. That doesn't matter. Because at the end point, when you get more easier questions, you can score a lot. You can hit those big sixes. Here you can hit those big four numbers out there in the group C. There are always chance. You have to play three hours. Do not quit in your mind before three hours. Once the bell rings and the examiner tells you stop writing, then only judge yourself. Otherwise, don't judge yourself at the middle of the exam. Do not that quit. Do not that make sure that, that those negative feelings should not win. So keep this thing in your mind in the hall. Even if you have, haven't done so many of the questions, that, that doesn't matter. Let's say in the group A, you are very you are not very good about answering all those analytical questions or mathematical questions. You have only answered three questions from group A among 15. With that, my chance is gone. But not actually not. You have a better chance. Let's say in the group B, you have you are able to answer 30 questions. There it, it becomes managed. Because CSI and NET, it is cumulative marks that are checked. Right? In my previous video, I thought, because at the very beginning, in the UGC net, there was a chance, uh, there was a rule that they, you need to pass in individual groups. But in CSI and net exam, th there is nothing like that. Even if you can't answer any of the questions in group A, but you do better in group B and C, will succeed, you will eventually get CSI and net. So that doesn't matter. As long as you can answer the other questions and get the net. Right? So keep these things in your mind. Manage the whole situation. Do not let the fear and negative thoughts win you. You need to play for three hours. Keep this thing in your mind. So that's it guys. If you like the video, subscribe, 
hit the like button and share it with your friends in social networks because obviously help them help you help us help you thank you